You bought solar panels in 2022, and this is how we get the tax credit on TurboTax. All right, so we come in here, click on deductions and credits, scroll down, open this your home up and this home energy credits. Click on that button. You'll see here, solar electric cost. We gotta check this yes button saying that, yeah, we did buy this in 2022. Your filing joint, gotta answer this question. Did you live with your spouse or not? Is your house in the US? And is this for your main home? So is this part of the construction of the home? Generally, we're gonna say no here. So we can get a credit if you got any of these improvements here. But since we're talking solar panels, we're gonna skip this section. And we're gonna say no here. We didn't do windows last year. And did we get any prior year credits? The reason they're asking this is because there's a limit to these home improvement credits, but we're talking solar panels. So continue. And here we go. This is where we place the amount that we paid for the solar panels in TurboTax. All right, so the next question is, how much can I include as a solar electric cost? Well, items we are eligible to include are, of course, solar panels, any solar equipment like inverters, wiring, and hardware, any installation costs, that means assembly, prep, wiring, and permitting of these solar panels, any energy storage devices, i.e. batteries, that have a capacity of over three kilowatt hours, and sales tax for this stuff. Now here's one, and you'll see here, right, we paid for insulation, the solar modules, and the inverter of $97.99. We input that here, $97.99, and voila, continue. So this question is asking if we have any credits from last year that we're carrying forward to the 2022 tax returns. And I'm gonna say no, I didn't. And there we go, we got a 2940 uh, tax credit on the tax return for the solar panels here. It is 30% of the cost, right? 9,799 times 0.3, and there it is. We round up the chain. So they're just double checking that they, this is, yeah, where you installed the solar panels. I'm gonna say yes. All right, and so when you go to review your return, you'll see this form 5695 and that total amount that you put for the solar panel uh, qualified costs here, okay? That 9,799, and you'll see down here, right? The 30% is that we got as a credit, and you'll see that. Yeah, this does go on the Schedule 3 on the tax return, the Form 1040. And that's it. That's how we get the solar panel tax credit on the tax return. Hope it was helpful. Thanks, guys.